In this video, we'll get familiar with the DEXI airframe dimensions as well as install our motors. We'll start off by looking at the wheelbase, which you'll see here is 240 millimeters. The DEXI airframe width is 350 millimeters, while its length is 310. Let's go ahead and switch this to inches for those of you that prefer imperial units. You'll see that the wheelbase is roughly nine and a half inches, 13 and three quarters wide, and roughly 12 and a quarter inches long. That should give you a great reference for size. Now let's move on to looking at some of the hardware and mounting our motors. Now that we know a little bit about Dexy's dimensions, let's go ahead and move forward with understanding the top and bottom plates and we'll mount our motors. So once again, the Dexy completed build, this is the top plate and we'll be spending most of our time in the next few videos working with the top plate. You'll notice that this is where the motors are mounted, our flight controller, our Pi CM4, the ESC. So we'll be working with the top plate mounted upside down. Let's cover the orientation before we get started. You'll notice there is a M3 press nut here. When Dexy is fully assembled, we'll want the M3 press nut facing down. What that allows us to do is when the time comes, we'll go ahead and put our battery tray on we'll be able to screw through this battery tray directly into the frame. For orientation, the M3 press nut is facing forward and the XT60 bulkhead connector is near the rear of the frame. So forward, rear, top, and bottom. Now let's take a quick look at the bottom plate. You'll notice another M3 press nut and we actually want this nut facing upwards towards us. And what that will allow us to do later on in the build is to put our Rolo landing gear just right in the middle, bottom screw into that and have a nice snug fit. Now for orientation, you'll just notice that you want to keep Dexy in line with what we have on the top plate. So you'll notice the D moving all the way to the rear and spelling Dexy. I will go ahead and remove the bottom plate for now, since that will not be necessary. As I mentioned in the overview video, we'll be working from the inside out and we'll go ahead and flip our top plate upside down. Now, the next thing I want to call out, and it's very important, when you receive your kit, you will have two screw links. You'll notice that I have a screw with a washer that is six millimeters in length. These are what we'll be using to mount the motors. The eight millimeter long screws will be to assemble the frame. And it's very important that you understand if you use the eight millimeter screws, you do run the risk of going through the motor housing and into the winding, which can ultimately ruin your motor. By the time you receive your kit, the motor screws will be a different color, but if not, just make sure you pay attention. The six millimeter screws go into the motors, the eight millimeter screws handle the frame assembly. I have my six millimeter screw with the washer. We'll be using a two millimeter hex driver. And what we'll do is go ahead and proceed with installing our motors. I go ahead and put one screw in place. Do not tighten all the way down. I'll go ahead and get everything mounted. And then we'll finish by tightening everything into place. Hand tighten to where you can no longer twist the screw, but make sure not to overdo it. You'll notice that our motor is now mounted, our press nut, is facing down that will allow us once again to screw the battery tray into place. Make sure to run your wires along the airframe. 
You'll notice the MR30 connectors, which will plug nicely into our 4-in-1 ESC. And I'll finish up by installing the rest of the motors. Motor mounting is now complete. When everything is finally assembled and installed, motors will be facing downward. As I mentioned before, that gives us a bit of an efficiency improvement. And lastly, this is more of an additional tip for those of you that are interested. We debated this, whether or not we wanted to include a thread locker in our kit, and we decided not to. We've seen in many cases overuse. This comes out pretty quickly, goes onto the threads, and then can drip into the motor winding. So you're welcome to use this if you have some laying around. One drop is all you need. Make sure you use the blue removable type. But what we like to encourage is that before every flight, you have a checklist and make sure that you go through uh, securing your motors. Go through and, and hand tighten, make sure everything is ready to go. That's just a good habit to create as you get further into the world of flying and programming your Dexy drone.